Well, here we go. Look at this. I go, go ahead and ring the bell. I said you could do it. Ring the bell. Series of close fists by Joel Don't Davis. you the ever match, listen to me? Well, the match didn't even start. The referee didn't call I the bell. I started. Well, you don't have a license from the Pennsylvania State Athletic Commission. They're well, as a matter of fact, I do. Greg Serb, call Greg Serb asking. All right, well, then I did not know that either. There's a slap to the face from Joel Davis. Run in Hollywood. Oh, up and over. They're coming out to the crowd. Uh, they better not come this way. Because, I think they uh, are dirty deeds. Well, I got five knuckles on each hand looking for either one of them. Well, they come over here, you're going to fly solo because I'm leaving. They're right in front of us. Joel Davis hitting Vince Bono with a chair. Now using the rail. Throws them back over the rail into the ringside area. They're going back at ringside now. Hey, you got to give them credit, though. This is Dirty Deeds style you're looking at right there, brother. I got it like this. I usually give my boots away. I don't kick somebody's ass for taking them. They're probably all around ringside. This match never even got into the ring. We still have his theme music and everything playing out here. Vicious Derby Dave. Derby Dave, have you rung the bell yet? The referee has not called for the bell yet. Yeah, the uh, referee, yeah. I think this match will officially get underway in just a moment. Vince Bono crawling on his hands and knees. I gotta tell you, to be honest, this is a little rough with old Dirty Deed sitting out here because I just love to run in the ring here and just, you just go, go, uh, go mayhem on a pair of these guys and the referee and uh, the photographer. And the ring announcer can't spit anything out tonight. There now we, we got, go. Now we got punk kids. Uh, look, they all want my autographs. That's what we're doing here. Is the cameraman on this? We got punk kids around the ring here. What do you want, Junior? Huh? Yeah, yeah, you got to talk to me. This you and every, you and everybody else. I don't think he's old enough to buy your smokes. Well, where you have the real deal, picking up Vince Bono. What's he going for here? Ties him to the tree of woe in the corner. He has a Tree up. of woe. That solo, of course, being sung by Dirty Deeds. Davis now laying the kicks in, sends Bono down to the floor. I can also sing, do you want to touch? Joe and, Jet. And I can also say no to that question. I would say to that one, Daredevil. Does the RCW realize it uh, for six months, about three years ago, I dated Joe Jet and was on tour with her? I don't think anybody realizes that. Well, or it. I'm, I'm sending out a lot of facts here about me tonight. I know she was in a few Highlander episodes. Were you on the filming for that? Uh, no, I wasn't there that day. I was over at um, Pam Anderson's uh, trailer that day. But let's get back to the ring, guys. Enough about me. These are two guys here that are right on the cusp of the welterweight division and the cruiserweight division. As I said before, I've wrestled them both. I've beaten them both. But these guys have some talent. There's no question about it. I'd really like to see a three-way between you, Joel Davis, and Vince Bono. I'd love to see it myself. I don't think the promoters here in RCW will sign it, though. Uh, why is that? Everybody's afraid of you. They know that, is, that is true. I will put the world's welterweight title on the line against a pair of these guys in a triangle match anytime, anywhere. Vince Bono now whipping Davis across the ring, follows him up with a clothesline, full momentum the whole length of the ring. Sends Davis down to the canvas. Bit of a low blow there by Bono. Turning it tight here by Bono. He's doing some bar to basement shopping on Joel Davis. Well, I don't know if the cameras picked that up, but that was the commissioner there, Mar PBO, just stopped in to tell me what a good job I was doing. All right. I can't complain right now. I'll complain later, but for right now, you're doing an all right job, Darren. And you know, actually, Joel Davis doing a pretty good job in the ring as we speak. Certainly is. A, certainly controlled most of the momentum in this match. He I think he's controlled all the momentum, hasn't he? No, I think. Uh, no, we had a little Vince Bono advantage. had some offense in this match. Not much. Nothing to write home about, right, guys? No, not really. Davis going for the cover. I think it's a bit early in the match, though. Well, that's a week three count, too. You got to you got to hook the guy's leg. Uh, you know, I mean, yeah, it's, that's a cardinal rule. Professional wrestling and a guy like Joel Davis has been around long enough to know better than that. Certainly a sign of a rookie there, not hooking the leg. A rookie mistake, drops the elbow now off the rope. The referee down for the cover again. Again doesn't hook the leg. Uh, Vince Bono getting the foot to the rope there. 
If he would have hooked the leg there, it definitely would have helped. He wouldn't have been able to get that foot on the rope. Well, no, actually, he was on the wrong side to hook the leg that got to the rope. But uh, you're, you're trying. Well, I'll give you credit. I've never been in that ring, Dirty Deeds. You certainly have, so Many you would know these things. Many a time. That's why, uh, that's why they bring the expert out here. Jim Spono to the outside. Joel Davis setting up for a series of slaps here by Joel Davis. They're fighting right outside there in front of Mr. Wrestling number two. So this match started off on the outside and we're going to continue on the outside. Joel Davis hitting him there with that, that, that forearm too, and I felt that. That is a very stiff forearm that he throws. Uh, you're going to feel that for a while. Body slam out in the heart cement floor of the National Guard Armory building. I felt that from Joel Davis as well. I mean, the man, uh, like I said, let's give him credit. Vince Bono won't be getting up anytime soon after that. But here's something right here. Here's something right here that I talked about. I started to talk about when the match began. This man's looking for fan appreciation, and the fans really don't like this guy all that much. I know it from my match with him. He walked the aisle thinking the fans are going to cheer him. Guess who they're cheering? Nobody. Guess who the fans love? They Dirty love Deeds. Dirty Deeds, professional wrestling's one-man palooza tour. And when do tickets for that Palooza tour go on sale? They're, they're on sale all the time. Okay. Call your local ticket master. All right, I'll be sure to do that as soon as I get home tonight. Here we see both men back into the ring, but not for long. Vince Bono again sent out hard to the outside. Vince Bono spent more time outside the ring than inside the ring this match. Despite all his flaws, Joel Davis is showing me something here tonight. And uh, he's given Vince Bono more than what he, what he came to the ring with uh, when I was in the ring with him. I'll give him that. The one thing he's not doing is capitalizing when he has Vince Bono down. That's a good point down there. Here we get the three count. Vince Bono comes away with the victory in this match. And there's what happened. There's what happened. Wait a minute. He had assistant from the outside. What was that all about? Davis went for the suplex. That was, that seemed to be big, fat, 400 ton RC. We've seen his presence around the RCW uh, wrestling rings quite a lot. 